Hey there, all of my Libra people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting August 11th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. So this week, on the 14th, 15th, and 16th, we've got Mars and Jupiter coming together in a powerful conjunction in Gemini and also forming a strong square to Saturn retrograde in Pisces. And so this is uh, what I would call a breaking point, an opportunity coming out of what could seem like an emergent need, a crisis, or a breaking point. Likely in your case, having something to do with your work, your reputation, your schedule, or possibly official dealings, travel plans, or long distance connections. However, Mars and Jupiter together are all about trying to break you out of a bubble and get you into a bigger standing in life. But you have to be ready. This opportunity will likely, as I said, come out of some kind of agenda alteration or a crisis where something's got to give in order for this to happen. On the 14th as well, but carrying on through the 28th, Mercury retrograde will be sliding back into Leo, where he will be for the duration of his term. Now, this is actually a very favorable place to have Mercury retrograde because it's all about your social life. This is your 11th house of friendships and your support system. And a lot of you are going to be enjoying some revisits, reroutes, or even revisions to your social life that happen because we are getting a chance to get reacquainted with important people and important opportunities uh, from the past through friends. It's going to be a very nostalgic period. And I'll, I'll, I'll say this right now, Mercury retrograde in the 11th is kind of the reunion placement. And it's one of the best places you're going to have it if you're going to have it at all. So that's what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Libra, let's have a look and see what's going on with that tarot traffic. And it looks like for your big spiritual theme, or your big focus, you have the Six of Pentacles upright. And so the Six of Pentacles is a card where you are going to be benefiting from a lot of generous acts of kindness from other people, as well as also having a fair amount of resources flow your way, whatever those resources are. They could be financial, they could be social, they could be personal. But with the Six of Pentacles, we are receiving a great deal of attention, as well as a great deal of investment in ourselves from others. A lot of things are going to be coming in to lift you up, give you the go-ahead, especially when it comes to maybe some big moves where you'd like to make them, as well as even get you moving where you have been maybe slack or slow to act. And so very good card, but you want to make sure that you are showing your appreciation by making the good that comes to you get put to use. For your material circumstances, your work, your job, finances, and practical affairs, you've got the Two of Swords upright. And so the Two of Swords is the Crossroads card. And there could be something getting put on the table where um, you have to weigh a certain commitment that is up for grabs for you if you would like it. This could be choosing between two professional roads, two financial opportunities, or maybe even uh, two household opportunities or, or household arrangement opportunities coming your way. With the Two of Swords, this is likely going to be something you want to give the time and the consideration it deserves. Don't rush to make up your mind, but at the same time, don't block anything out. Because the Two of Swords can sometimes put us in a situation where we have to be neutral while we choose between things that could be really good for us. And this it's, it's a good problem to have, but you might want to investigate because with the Two of Swords, we may be coming up to a crossroads where we have to make a decision for our better. For your community and friends and relatives and other people in your life, you've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. 
And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is uh, a bit of a heads up card about some kind of transition or pending transition going on. Um, now, likely because this is in a social area of the spread, this is happening to a friend, a contact or a family member, or it could be affecting you if you guys uh, share a lot of the same territory, so to speak. Now, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is a heads up that there could be some kind of big transition move or change coming down the road. And it may be something good or it may be something disruptive. Sometimes this card can show up with groups and families kind of getting thrown into a whirl uh, because of some kind of big news or development. But with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, whatever is going through a transition and you're getting the heads up about will be something that also changes a lot of your courses as well. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Nine of Wands upright. Knowing when it's time to be firmer with not only your boundaries, your, your protections, your fences, so to speak, but knowing when it's okay to start filtering and shutting things out. The Nine of Pentacles is the card of setting oneself up for success by also knowing when success can come from having taller fences, taller hedges, or thicker walls. You may have to be ready this week, even though this week is for the most part pretty good to you, to make your world a little bit safer for good things to last. And that means, of course, cracking down on where you need to be putting up some walls, whether this is learning to say no more, whether this is maybe going no contact with certain people, or deciding to relieve yourself of certain responsibilities you don't have to hold. And finally, for your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, we've got the Four of Wands reversed. And the Four of Wands reversed is all about getting ready to cross an important milestone. The Four of Wands reversed is a card of preparation. It is a card of getting everyone's works and affairs and priorities in order to be set up to finally make something uh, real or make something solid. This is the card that uh, when I'm teaching my tarot students, I call it the preparation for the big victory, the big win. Uh, it's, you know, before the, the concert or the graduation or the wedding reception, right? We're always doing the work of cleaning everything up, setting up the furniture, getting everything cooking uh, in the kitchen, testing the sound and all of that. And so with the Four of Wands reversed, a lot of you are going through this this week. This could be you and a partner getting down to business on something that, um, you know, you've been waiting to finally be able to do with each other or do for each other. There could be good news about something coming down the turnpike for a partner as far as their material circumstances or their life outside the relationship that's shaping things up. Or for those of you who are uh, single or are available to new people, this can also indicate uh, a shift where you and somebody special could be making plans to finally connect. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. <laughs>